Hey everyone, it's Ivan from KipAdger.com, here to bring you another gear review, and today we're talking about the Ghost Edge 3.5 Trigger Kit. A while ago I did a video on installing the Ghost Edge Trigger Kit into this Glock 17, both the Edge 3.5 pound disconnector as well as the complete spring kit. Since then I've been using it for about six months, and I'm now ready to give you my takeaways from it. On the upside, I will say the trigger press is absolutely lighter than your factory Glock trigger press. Now that I've exhausted what I like about it, what don't I care for? Well, with the trigger press, what I find is that I will go ahead, take up that slack, get to the wall, go a little further, get to a second wall, a little further, third wall, and it breaks. I don't like that. For whatever reason, it's jittery. You'll go, you'll get to that first wall, and then it kind of stutters until you finally break that shot. And while it is lighter, I definitely don't like that. Keep in mind, this is a sample size of one. The other issue I came across was the firing pin spring. On the package, it says, hey, the longer one is stronger six pound firing pin spring, shorter one is for competition, not necessarily due to your carry, and it's a lighter four pound spring. I'm like, okay, cool. Made sure I put the duty one in there. Come to find out, it was not in there. How do I know this? Because I ended up with lots and lots of light strikes. So by competition, if you're training to clear malfunctions, that's probably the spring you want. I don't know that my experience with the firing pin spring is unique. Someone reached out to me in the comments on the install video and said, hey, I'm having this problem. Basically same sort of deal. And for whatever reason, it seemed like their packaging was stating something different, i.e. the shorter spring was stronger, the longer spring was weaker. This may very well have been. You can have a stronger, shorter spring and a weaker, bigger spring. Ultimately, it probably came down to maybe the company doing a run. They probably don't make springs. So they sourced them from here, got the springs they needed, dried up, sourced them from here, I don't know. What I do know is I reached out to Ghost to try and figure it out. I think I sent them an email, definitely left them a message, never heard back. But again, sample size of one, these are the issues I've ran into. Because of these experiences, I actually never carried this all through the winter when I most certainly could. Granted, it's a large pistol, but winters get cold up here, lots of layers, fairly easy to conceal. But it basically robbed me of my confidence in this weapon. Consequently, I'm going to end up going ahead and swapping back out to the factory setup. In fairness to Ghost, I have in the past, as well as some of my friends, had good experiences with their disconnectors. As far as would I recommend this entire trigger kit to include the competition malfunction spring, I would not. Granted, sample size of one, if this works for you, awesome. This has been my experience over the last six months. but. As always, thanks for joining us at KitBadger.com. Look forward to seeing you next time. Winning.